Hey everyone, the other day I discovered this very powerful feature in Integromat called Webhook Response and consequently redirects in Integromat. And I wanted to share this with you. So to give you a bit of context of what we're gonna build this time, um, we'll build a JOT form with just one simple question, a single choice select out of two options. And depending on the option that the user uh, chooses, we want to redirect them uh, to a URL to a different URL. Now these URLs will be actually sourced from an Airtable base, depending again on the answer that they choose. Uh, as you may know, we can add conditional logic uh, in uh, JotForm uh, directly in the interface. The problem there obviously is that it is not dynamic. So you'd have to update it uh, every time you want to make any change. Um, with this option, uh, we can actually dynamically update uh, these values in our Airtable base and it will be automatically reflected in our automation. So um, we have this uh, very simple Airtable base of it's just an ID and a redirect URL. Uh, so this will be the two options that we'll have uh, in uh, Airtable and this will be the redirect URLs where we'll send the user to once they submit the form. So let's go to JotForm and uh, create a new, a new form. And in here, we'll just add a very simple, as I told before, single choice. And let's change its name to option. Well, let's, let's call it ID actually. And we'll just have two options, one and two, reflected from what we have in their Airtable base. And uh, now the redirect URL will actually be a webhook in Integromat. So the thank you page will be redirected to an external link. And for that, we'll set up a new webhook in Integromat. So let's do that. Webhook custom webhook. Let's add it. copy the address and actually let's activate the webhook so we can get a sample response. Now the URL will be this one and to the end of the URL we'll add a parameter called ID with a value of what we have in the in the JOT form um, which is the value of the question ID. Okay so either one or two. Fantastic. Now that is ready, let's make a sample submission. Let's copy the link. One. I need to confirm that I'm not a robot. These are always fun. Okay, verify, submit form. And as you can see, we get accepted from Integromat. That's great, let's go back. As you can see, we get this ID value of one over here. And what we'll do with it is actually we'll go to Airtable. We'll search for records in the base of test redirect, table one, and our formula will be ID equals, and then in brackets, our ID that we got over here press OK. And let's actually test it out. Let's say it's two. And we should get the records with the redirect URL of Yahoo. Fantastic. Now, here comes the interesting part. The webhooks model has an action called webhook response. Now, this can be used, for example, to send data back uh, to another automation that you're maybe building uh, in another service and paste in some data along with it or it can actually be used on client side uh, as a redirect uh, request for the browser. Uh, for that, we have to change the status to 300 to 399, which is the uh, HTTP um, documentation. And in this particular case, it will be 302, which signifies a temporary uh, redirect. Now, an important uh, header to add for the redirect to work 
is actually the location. Okay, the key is location and the value will be the value that we have in the redirect URL in the associated records in Airtable. Let's press OK. Let's save this. And let's actually turn it on and test it out. As now everything should be ready. Let's go back to our form. Let's press now in this case, let's say two. Again, I need to confirm that I'm not a robot. Okay, submit form. As you can see, the server is waiting for a response from Integromat. And just as you can see, we are redirected to Yahoo, just as was the case. Now, if we change this now to something else, uh, let's say Yandex. And it's important in this case to uh, actually add the HTTPS or HTTP for this to properly work. work. And let's submit the form again. Again, pressing two. Okay, submit form. And as you can see, we are now redirected to Yandex. So just like this, you can use webhook responses and redirects in Integromat. I think it's a quite powerful feature. Obviously, you can get a lot of stuff uh, automated in here in the middle. And hopefully, it will be helpful for, for some of you. Have a nice day.